Okay, so let's say I go to Google Scholar and I search for synchronous learning. And I get rid of the patents there and I go there. And I want only recent articles because synchronous learning is a relatively new phenomenon. So I'm going to click on that. And I take a look and I say, oh, there's one blended synchronous learning model for educational international collaboration. That looks pretty interesting. It's recent. I'm going to click on that. And so I have the article here, and that's great. And if I want to access it, actually, I'm going to have to pay for it. And I don't want to pay for it. They're about $25 an article. But I could look up that article in the UOIT database, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, I have to note the name of the journal. So this one's called the Innovations in Education and Technology International Journal. And it's volume 47. I'm going to write that down here. You can't see that. Issue 1, 2010. And I can see the author is Hasty. Okay. So that's the information I need. And so I did copy this, I believe. I'm going to right click and do it again and copy. And now, if I move to the course wiki, there's search for specific journals. And I'm going to click on that. And here I am at the UOIT library, search for titles database. I'm going to press control V. I guess I could. And let's see if we have that journal. Let's hope we do. So I'm going to go down here. That's engineering. Oh, goodness, we do. And here we are. So I just have to click that. And here is the journal. It says right there. I remember I wrote 2010. I don't know what issue that is. Oh, it is. It's issue one. Good thing I wrote that down. And now I'm looking for Hasty. Okay, so I'll look around. So I'll scroll down a little bit. And oh, here we are. A blended synchronous. There's Hasty there, which is great. And now I can get the article for free. And there it is. So I'm going to do the right click, put Hasty, and then underscore 2010. And that's how you search for an article in the UOIT database when you have the article. So say you find it in a reference list or Google Scholar, this is how you search up the article.